Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to play the chord A on guitar. We're gonna do all the basic major and minor chords on guitar over the next coming weeks and months, starting off with the A chord. Logically, I'm gonna go chronological order. Uh, that doesn't mean A is the easiest and later on it will be more difficult, not at all, uh, but just chronological by letter, by note. So, before we start off, thanks to the brand of Ellis for lending me this t-shirt to use it. You can uh, get a discount of 10% with the code YBPlaysMusic. The links for that are down in the description below. So, let's start off with the most common way to play the chord of A. I hope you guys can see in the supportive screen as well. Um, we go, we are going to place three fingers right beneath each other, underneath each other. Um, all on the second fret okay now it's very important if you press uh, your finger on a string that it is just before the fret these are the frets so the metal bars that are on the arm of your guitar are the frets so you're not going to place your finger on the fret but just before it all right now the hard part with the a chord is that our three fingers are just placed underneath each other my ring uh, my middle finger is on the fourth string the d string my ring finger on the third string and my pinky finger on the second string but all on the second fret so logically my pinky i hope you guys can see my pinky will be closer to the fret than my uh, middle finger will be. Uh, there's no way around that, but still try to uh, have some clean notes in that. We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play only the five lower strings. So every string except the upper one. Why is that? Because in the A chord, um, my tonic notes, my tonic key is the A the note A, which happens to be the fifth string. So that is where my chord is starting off. All right. Now, that is the most common way. You can also choose, I use my middle ring and pinky finger. You can also use your uh, index, middle and ring finger. If you choose that if, that, if you prefer that, if it's more comfortable, then use that position. It also depends uh, where you come from. If you have another chord that you play uh, before that or after that, it can depend on which position you will choose to use. But that said, those are the most common ways to play the A chord and the most easy. Then you have a more advanced one and the hard part uh, of that uh, advanced version is that we're, ho that we're going to use our index finger to cover all the strings. First we are going to move a few frets uh, down our arm and our index finger is going to cover all the strings this is the hardest part for this position because if you want to have a clean sound you really have to press all the strings here and that's hard that requires some exercise to do so if you're really a beginner start just with the most common way uh, if you are already a little bit more advanced you can try this so to be sure that your index finger is really tight on the arm and that everything is uh, right, you can try and play all the strings. Now it sounds clean. It's not the A chord yet, but that's important also. Then my ring finger, I'm placing it on the uh, fifth string on the seventh fret. Then just underneath that, I'm gonna place my pinky finger on the fourth string, also on the seventh fret. And last but not least, my middle finger, I'm going to place it on the third string, on the sixth fret here. Okay. And then if you play all the strings, you also get the A chord. But this is much harder to play clean. Uh, so. Just start off with the common, uh, the most common and easy way to play the A chord if you're a beginner. Don't even try this uh, if you're not able to play this. This is not going to work either. Okay, so first try the common one and then try the more advanced one. Alright, 
So these are the m two most used ways to play the A chord. Uh, and I'm gonna use similar chords like the advanced one like this for the other chords that are coming in the next few weeks and months. All right. So I hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned for the other chords the next coming weeks. And maybe look at some of my other music videos or music related videos. I'm going to do some reactions as well. So I hope I can teach you guys some things or at least entertain you guys here with some videos. Thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.